Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video we'll be doing the unboxing and overview for this Moto X Play. And uh, some of you are thinking this is the most high-end by Moto X. Uh, that's not the case. The Moto X style is over this, but that was not yet launched in India. And uh, the thing with this Moto X Play is that uh, it has very interesting specs for the price and it is sold in india exclusively via flipkart and this is the 16 gigabyte model and this sells for 18,500 rupees and if you're buying it from flipkart please use my link it does help the channel and here it says that it's powered by a 1.7 gigahertz octa-core processor it's basically having the snapdragon 615 chipset and uh, it has this, this huge battery that's a 3630 milliamp hour battery and also it has a new camera that's a 20 megapixel shooter and again it's 4g enabled it also has micro sd card slot so let's quickly open this up and we have the phone itself uh, we'll come back to this device a bit later it sports that 5.5 inch screen which is a 1080p screen and uh, as you can see these are the accessories uh, we do get the headset this time and again it's motorola branded as you can see it has an m button and a microphone so let me keep these things to the side we also have a bunch of booklets i would say read me and stuff in hindi also uh gives you basic idea that the back can be opened but again um, the thing is that uh, the battery is sealed inside it's not a user replaceable battery regarding the sar values it says the head value is 0 0.80 and for the body is 1.23 so just a basic guide let me keep these things to the side uh, and uh, we also have a micro usb to usb cable and this is the charger that is supplied let me open this up and it has uh, dual usb ports so that is interesting but uh, does not specify uh, the rating yeah it is there one second guys and uh, it outputs uh, 5 volts at uh, 1150 milliamp so this is not a fast charger so if you need fast charging you need to uh, separately buy a qualcomm uh, based fast charger so it's just a regular charger so let me keep the box to the side and let's look at this handset itself and um, as you can see uh, initial impressions i would say i expected that it would be a little bit on the heavier side uh, but it's not the case and as you can see it uh, gives you basic specs that it hoses a 5.5 inch screen a 21 megapixel red facing uh, 5 megapixel front facing camera uh, that huge battery and it has that octo core and it is a dual sim device but it accepts the nano sim so let's open this and as you can see this is the back uh, as i told you this can be opened uh, but uh, this is for just replacing the back uh, the battery is still sealed inside so you don't have to actually open this up uh, let me put this back and uh, later on motorola might uh, sell other shells for this so that's for that so let me put this back so this goes and regarding the sim uh, this opens up and here you insert your sim card and even the what do you say a micro sd card and let me actually show you that uh, we have the sim ejector tool that we had and uh, here is the one and we can just use this to pop it out and uh, here as you can see uh, your sim card one goes over here sim card two goes over here it's a nano sim and on this side uh, we also have the micro sd card so uh, three things can go inside this uh, pretty weird setup so let me uh, just now try to power it on uh, this is the power button and uh, again I have to say I expected that the weight would be a bit more uh, though it weighs uh, 169 grams it does not feel uh, that heavy initial impressions I would say by the time it actually boots let me give you a physical overview on the top again as I told you this is the slot for adding the sim card and the micro SD card the 3.5 mm headphone jack is on the top I like that and uh, on this end we have the power button which has ridges and this is the volume rocker moving down actually we have the micro usb slot that will be used for charging and it does support fast charging and on this end actually we have nothing moving towards the back we have this textured it, it's a rubber finish and i have to say it, it gives a very good uh, feel the grip uh, we have a 21 megapixel rear facing camera a dual tone led flash and again we have that motorola dimple 
and let me just set this up and uh, we will continue and regarding wi-fi yes it does support 2.4 gigahertz as well as the 5 gigahertz wi-fi band so i just booted it and uh, let's uh, as you can see, uh, again, it's almost the stock Android experience that uh, we expect again with Motorola devices. That's the same and uh, looks really responsive initial impressions. And it says we can set up our dual SIM and stuff. Again, as the Motorola device, we shouldn't have a lot of bloatware. Yes, we just have the Motorola Migrate and the Moto specific app. Again, like the regular Moto X, uh, we also uh, have voice actions with this one. So even if you're not, uh, you uh, just with your voice, you can actually control this device. So it has that always listening option. And we also have the FM radio, so that's nice. And we also have that Flipkart app because it was sold via Flipkart. Anyways, let's just uh, continue and let's go to the settings and if you go to about the device as you can see uh, it's running on the latest version of android that is 5.1.1 so we are getting the latest version of android uh, with this that is android lollipop and uh, if we could just go back let's look at the storage uh, this is the 16 gigabyte model that i chose uh, and this sells for uh, 18,500. We also have another model that comes with 32 gigs of internal storage. And for the 16 gigabyte model, we have 10 uh, gigabytes of space available for you. Uh, but we can also add a micro SD card. I'll add a micro SD card later on. And uh, let's just go back. Before we continue, let me give you a configuration overview. This Moto X Play is powered by the Snapdragon 615 chipset, which is an octa-core processor, and it's divided into two quad cores. The powerful one is clocked at 1.7 gigahertz, and the low power one is clocked at 1 gigahertz. And it's based on the ARM Cortex A53. That means it's 64-bit enabled. Moving to the GPU, it has the Adreno 405 GPU. It has a 5.5-inch 1080p screen with Gorilla Glass 3 protection. It also is sort of water resistant. It has nano coating and it's IP52 certified. It has 2 gigabytes of RAM, 16 or 32 gigabytes of internal storage, a micro SD card slot, a 21 megapixel rear facing camera, a 5 megapixel front facing camera. It also supports fast charging. And the battery is a 3630 milliamp hour battery and it also has NFC support. And regarding the this, uh, what do you say, front, uh, we have a 5 megapixel shooter. And this actually uh, is just a earpiece. It looks like a speaker, but no, this is just an earpiece. And we have that 5.5 inch uh, screen, uh, which is an IPS grade 1080p screen. The speaker is actually here at the bottom and uh, looks really responsive as of now. And as I told you, we can set up uh, those uh, voice commands and etc. if you just go to this Moto and we can customize this. I'll do this later on, but uh, let's uh, actually try to fire up the web browser right now. Uh, let's quickly just uh, accept this. And uh, I'm also actually very curious to see how this Snapdragon 615 chipset handles it. Uh, uh, if the thing to uh, test is, uh, I'll be really testing is how if it heats up in regular usage. And I'll try to use this as my primary device for the next couple of days and test it. And I'll also try to do a gaming review. And uh, again, we'll test the temperatures. So just uh, moving to the desktop mode. And again, as you can see, it's really responsive. And uh, so in terms of web browsing, you shouldn't have a problem. And now let's quickly uh, look at the camera because Motorola said that they have really improved the camera. And in fact, uh, even with the Moto G, uh, they have improved the camera. So let's look at it. This is a new 21 megapixel uh, shooter that we have. And again, the camera interface is really basic. So we have that uh, gesture. It says we can use this uh, twist to, maybe I think so I need to enable it in the settings. So that should work actually, but let's uh, look at the camera basic stuff and you just tap anywhere and it takes the picture. But if you really uh, want, you can go to the settings and enable this uh, tap to focus and you can add, this way you can actually, as you can see, adjust the exposure also. So that setting is there. So let's try to take a picture so we can move here. As you can see, adjust the exposure. And now if you click, takes the picture let's try to take this picture of this one so the shutter speed is really good it's really fast as you can see let's look at the pictures if you swipe here it should go to the gallery so these were the pictures that we took i'll definitely test uh, out the camera a lot more in varying light conditions 
and uh, share my thoughts in my full review so guys that's it for now for this very quick uh, look at this uh, moto x play if you have any specific questions around this device do post them in the youtube comments and i'll try to include them in my review and if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video